One of the most popular questions we get at the races and on the phones is, why do I need a G-meter? Well, many of our data loggers, such as the V300, V500, Sportsman, and Pro Systems come with built-in G-meters. Now, with that being said, drag racing is mostly an acceleration contest between two points, right? So, in essence, you would want to make sure you are accelerating in the quickest and most efficient way possible down the track. Your acceleration G-meter is going to show you just that consistencies within your launches of your runs, and for even throttle stop racers, it's going to show you consistencies within the car coming on and off the stop as well. Now why is all this important? Well with this information, along with the drive shaft RPM, you can quickly locate tire spin. If your drive shaft RPM is increasing rapidly and your Excel G meter is going down, you are not going forward and you aren't going fast. In essence, you're spinning the tires. Now another great way to look at Excel G meters would be when looking at shift points. If your car is out of its power range, it may start nosing over or slowing down before the shift. You will see this in the Excel G meter reading as it will start to decrease just before the shift. And finally, there are some other things that you can do with the G meter and our upgrade to standard software such as creating distance channels and time channels in reference to G meters, such as acceleration mile per hour and things like that. And for those of you that are running a data logger that does not have a built-in G meter, like an IQ3 drag dash, you're in luck. Because Racepack now offers a dual access VNet G meter that can be added to any VNet data logger system, just like this one right here. G meters are a great thing, so next time you download a run, don't bypass clicking on the G meter channel. You never know, you just may learn something new. For more information, be sure to log on to racepack.com or call us toll free at 888-429-4709.